One of the obstacles that all creators, but especially new creators face is perfectionism. You know that feeling that everything you do has to be flawless or otherwise everyone will laugh behind your back. It often leads to not creating at all or at least procrastinating on it until the deadline. As I've written three books in three months, 337 articles in one year, and now making a YouTube video like this every other day, I want to show you how I overcame my perfectionism and hopefully you can do it too if you're in the same boat. I like to spend a lot of time understanding the definitions of problems I face because then I'll be able to solve them for good because I really understand them. And according to Google, perfectionism refuses to accept any standard short of perfection. So in other words, you're resisting, not accepting any standard except for an imaginary ideal. And although it might sound very good on paper, you know, keeping a high level of excellence, all that stuff, it's actually quite counterproductive. What do I mean by that? First, what is perfection really? When is that YouTube video making perfect? And how often have you looked back to your five-year-old younger self and felt ashamed despite you she thought it was flawless at that time? This vague notion of perfect together with the term quality makes it a little bit hard to understand to be honest. So we better define it for real if you want to get anywhere. Seth Godin has written 19 best-selling books and over 8,000 blog posts over 20 years by the way, has a good definition or quality, which means meeting spec. So in other words, you describe exactly what you want and then declare yourself finished once you reach that criteria. But all we can call the world record for running perfect, I mean, it's not like if we haven't run before to suddenly be able to do that world record. So it's kind of like where perfectionism kicks in. We need to start and accept that we cannot get the world record, but we need to still run anyways. And that's the same with creating, by the way. I mean, if you're a new creator, probably videos like Mr. Beast will be not your first one. So in order to get started on the first place, we need to start with whatever we have or whatever little we have. And and when we are new, we naturally suck. <laughs> Take for instance my very first video and see how insecure I was back then. Hello everyone, my name is Oskar Lagerosen and I am the founder of The Total Living. If I could not accept how bad I was back then, I would not have started. So there is where perfectionism is harmful because you have this impossible hurdle that you cannot reach with this current skill set. And as long as you punish yourself for not living to that standard, to, it leads to a negative spiral from there. And it's honestly quite frustrating all the time. Maybe you're in this procrastination phase right now. So back to the definition of perfectionism. If you want to solve it, we do not want to resist what we have, but accept it, the opposite of resistance. And by accept, I mean being here, fully here and now, as if you looked forward to it all your life. It means looking at our current inadequacies and feeling good, feeling comfortable about this. Because after all, the more acceptance, the more attention you will give to what you actually can control. And then you have an easier time figuring out what's going next for you and thus being faster because the bottleneck is quite obvious. There might be details that you haven't figured out until they actually saw them right there and they stared you right in the face. So it's pretty much being open to what is out there instead of trying to hide from it, if you understand what I mean. This is what I did from that day when I uploaded my first quite terrible YouTube videos. And although at that time I was focused more on writing articles and books, I kept showing up because I felt that as long as I continued to do that, I would get better and have some fun in the process. I was okay with being bad because I didn't want to stop. I liked it already as it was, no matter how utterly terrible I was back then. And I have a good feeling that maybe one year or three years or five years from now, I will look back at this video, this exact video, and be so cringe that it's like, nothing else compares to that. And that's totally okay. So if you're looking like in, for instance, uh, 2023 or 2025, 2027, etc., at this very video, you can rest assured that I'll at least try to be as comfortable as possible with my current state. And it will only get better from there. So it's pretty much the opposite mindset of perfectionism. And in fact, if you look at the most successful creators out there, they all done a lot of the same thing for a very long period of time. PewDiePie has some over 4,600 videos uploaded and have 111 million subscribers. 
And to put it into perspective, that's almost one video a day for 14 years. So maybe you should do one video a day for 14 years. So at least not judge yourself until the 14 years have passed. Marcus Brown, another example, the most subscribed informational YouTuber, has over a thousand videos. And even Mr. Beast had over thousands of public videos at one point, and we know how it went from there. So the point I'm trying to make with this video is that better might be better than more, but in order to get better, we have to do more, if that makes sense. It's like that photo class experiment, where the professor split the class into two separate groups, which were graded in different ways. One of the groups were graded according to how many photos they'd taken during that semester, and the other group was graded after the best photo, but they only need to take one. The quantity group ended up outperforming the quality group substantially because they got an order reps and got more feel, got more awareness, got more intuition of what actually makes a great photo. So if you want to be as close as perfect as possible, you want to do more and accept what you do now is as good enough as you can possibly do. Accept your current skill set and know that this will only get better from there as long as you keep showing up because 90% of all success is all about showing up for a long period time. And after that long period of time, you might be setting the quality standards for all of us, all by letting perfectionism on the wayside. So I highly recommend you actually to close down YouTube and go back to creative project and finish it. No matter how much you feel it's not perfect, but if you still feel that you have a hard time keeping consistent and want to watch YouTube instead, I got the other video here which I tell about how I was able to stay consistent throughout the course, whether it was writing, Pokemon Go, etc. So it's all for you.